Hello everyone, Tyler here from MotionArray.com and in this tutorial I want to show you how to change the size of the logo composition in an After Effects template. So let's go ahead and take a look. We are in the Glam Slide After Effects template here and I'm going to come in to the Edit Comps and the Image Comps and I'm going to double click on Image 01 Logo. So this is great if your logo is a square, but let's say your logo looks more like this and kind of has a horizontal look to it. If we drop it in, you know, and it looks like that, and we come back out to the final composition, we are going to see that our logo is being cropped off. So the first thing I want to do is just come in to where we place our logo and I'm going to come up to Composition, Composition Settings. And I'm going to come to the Width and Height and just adjust this until I can see all of my logo. All right, so that looks pretty good there. I'm going to click OK. And now when we come back out to the final composition, we will see that our logo is still being cropped off. And that's because the main logo composition is pre-composed into other compositions. So I'm going to come back to the logo composition where we drop the logo in and I'm going to deselect everything and I'm going to tap shift on the keyboard. And what that will do is show all of the other compositions that this logo composition is in. And I already know that this is the logo comp that I want to click. And here's where we can see that it's being cut off. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to come up to Composition, Composition Settings, and I'm going to increase the width of this composition until I can see all of my logo. And I'm going to click OK. Now everything looks good except for this little glossy uh, layer here. And, you know, that's this one. And we can either turn it off or what I can do is bring up the scale property. So I'm going to highlight it, press S, and I'm going to unlink the height and width scale properties, and I'm going to stretch it out. And so that looks pretty good. Now when we come back out to our final composition, we will see that we now have a larger horizontal logo. And that's basically it. So I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, just let us know in the comments. And thanks for watching.